So you're going to NYC with kids. Good luck. I'm just kidding. New York is such an awesome place to visit, but if you have your little ones with you, it can be tricky. If you ask Miss Google where to go in NYC with kids, it'll tell you: Central Park, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Times Square. But do little kids really want to see these things? They just want to play. In this video, I'm going to share with you free places to play in New York City. That's right, free, and guarantee that your little ones will have a blast. Because I have the testimonial of my kids, and they always want to go back to these places. Make sure to check out my video on how to navigate NYC with kids, including the apps to use for parking and the strollers that I use. I also made a New York City travel vlog, and I'll link all the related videos down in the description box. But this video is about free places to play. Now, just a disclaimer: the places that I'm going to share with you are free to enter, free to play, but that doesn't mean you won't spend any money. If your kid picks up a toy, a souvenir, gives you the puppy eye, it is up to you to decide whether or not to spend the money and spoil them. So let's jump in. The five places in New York City that's super fun to play and it's free to enter. Number one, Camp Store. Camp Store has five locations. There are three in New York, one in Connecticut, and one in Texas. All the locations have different themes. I've only been to the one on Fifth Avenue, but it was so much fun that I can't wait to check out the other locations. Enter the store. It looks like a typical store with lots of merchandise. You see lots of storybooks, crafts, some stuffed animals, and some clothing. And we won't show where the kids are gonna play. We're going to play. Hello. The huge play space is hidden behind this display shelf, and you gotta push it open to enter. It felt so cool walking into the play space. There are lots of merchandise on display, but there are also lots of stuff to play. There's a vintage car with a TV screen. The kids can come in and out of. There's a bunk bed with a slide attached to it, where you slide down to the other room. Where you slide down to the other disco room. There's a control panel with lots of knobs for kids to play. There are some open toys like this yellow truck for kids to test it out, and there are also two kid-sized arcade machines in there. Of course, there are lots and lots of toys on display for sale, as well as lots of books, play costumes, crafts, and stuffed animals. There's a craft kit menu ranging from fifteen to forty-five dollars, where you can do the craft there at the store, or you can take the craft home to make. We decided to make the craft there. The instructors will help the kids make the craft. We as parents can keep our hands clean if we wish to. There are lots of tables dedicated for crafting, and my kids wanted to make a sparkle slime. It was a big mess, but they had lots and lots of fun. And you exit the play space on the other side, back to the front store. If there are lots of people lining up, you get 45 minutes in the play space. But if you choose to do a craft, you can finish doing your craft before you leave. Fao Swords. Fao Swords is the giant toy store that has been around for more than a hundred years. It has been in so many famous movies, and it has the signature dance on piano. The toy store has been around for such a long time, but the original FAO location in New York City unfortunately closed down in November of 2015. 
But luckily, in October of 2018, they reopened at its new location, which is their current location. Because it is a toy store, you might end up end up spending a little money. Subscribe for more videos on travel tips and reviews and travel vlogs. Look at that huge unicorn. The first thing you see when you go in the door is shelf after shelves of super cute and soft stuffed animals. And then you're greeted by a life-sized toy soldier. Welcome to our world of toys. Are you the big sister? Oh, on the first floor, there are lots of crafts, and there's always something different on display. And there's somebody showing you how to play, and you can test out the toys. On the day we went, there were these robotic toys that can fight each other, and the kids had a great time playing it. All the employees there are super friendly and helpful. My daughter also tried out the boomerang at the store. There are toys that cater to all different ages. There are discovery and educational toys. Sesame Street characters. FAO branded toys. And of course, lots of superhero collectibles. You can also customize your own race car and they'll be ready for you to take home by the time you leave. We actually didn't purchase the race car. The kids had a great time playing on the tablet, customizing their own race car. On the other side of the store, you find lots and lots and lots of candy. All different kinds of candy and chocolate that you can think of. There are two sets of stairs that lead to the second floor. The light up rainbow stairs are by the front door. When you reach the second floor, the first thing you see is a little space that looks like a rocket with a steering wheel and lots of knobs for kids to play. My kids always spend a lot of time in this rocket. And of course, the famous dance on piano that appeared in so many movies. You need to take off your shoes to go on the dance on piano. And you also get a great view of the Rockefeller Center from the window. Also on the second floor, there's Build-A-Bear Workshop where you can actually build a bear right there in FAO. Lots of lots of different characters. And a Barbie section with lots of different outfits to choose from. And there's an FAO adoption agency with many life-size baby dolls. There's a section for trolls and a section for American Girl dolls. You can also find lots of movie and TV characters like Mandalorian, Transformers. There are also lots of books on display on the second floor. The second set of stairs at the end of the store leads to the race car and candy shop area. The only things that they had last year that they didn't have this year are the little musical toys for toddlers on display and the little toddler grand piano. Also, last year, there was a really fun FAO food mart with shopping carts where the kids can shop for groceries and check out the toy food at the toy cash register. This FAO food mart was the best and my kids always spend so much time at this area. I assume that these toys were put away because these are high touch items and I really hope that the store brings them back out when it's safe to do so. Line French Store. The Line French Store in Times Square is the only Line French store in North America. You can also find the store in Tokyo, Shanghai, Taiwan, Bangkok, and Seoul. The Line French characters were actually created by a Korean pop star group called BTS. And these characters are very popular in Asia. It has its own theme park, animation, hotel, cafes. It is very popular in Asia. At the Line Friends store, the first thing you see when you walk in the door is the giant brown bear. And this brown bear actually changes outfits based on the time of the year. This store does sell merchandise. It isn't a space for play. However, because it's got so many life-size characters, 
all throughout the store that the kids have a great time shopping in the store. The baskets at the store are tiny, and the kids love to carry these baskets around in the store. And there are TVs with line cartoons on loop. There used to be another area behind these curtains with even more characters and cute areas for photos. I hope this area will open up again when it's safe to do so. The M&M store. Everybody knows about M&M chocolate. But this store is taking M&M to another level. It has M&M of everything. The M&M store has two stories. It sells everything that you can think of related to M&Ms, including, of course, chocolate, clothing, toys, plush pillows. On the second floor, there are tons of gadgets, and you can even find your own M&M color. We didn't have time to go to the second floor this time, so we didn't have any footage. But you just gotta take my word for it. You can even find an Elvis M&M in the store. The Lego Store. There are multiple different locations of the Lego Store in New York City. Under normal circumstances, you can find all kinds of different Legos in the store to play. At the Lego Store, everything is made out of Legos. There's a Lego flat iron building, Lego statue of the Bertie Torch, and a Lego construction worker. Last year in the store, they had all kinds of different Legos available for play, but these high touch items are put away this year. You can make your own personal mosaic, and so you'll have a Lego picture of yourself. But of course, that comes with a fee. So that's it, the five free places to play in New York City and guarantee your kids will love it. Comment down below which one you think your kids will love or let me know where I should go next in New York City. Remember to subscribe, like, and follow me on Instagram. Bye!